the second car on the ins or second truck on the inside line. Wow, maybe he let off the maybe he made an evasive like action there because of PK Jr. Wow, Look at what the a, violence. What an impact. That, how how violent that was. That truck weighs 3500 3700 yeah. pounds and it flies up in the air like that and catches on fire and yet and we I, saw how quickly Miguel Paluto had put the window net down, was taking his helmet off. Amazing. I think he got in the back of Nelson P.K. Jr. And when it did, when he did, that slowed his momentum. And that's, I think, James Busher got into him. Watch Take this now. Look. It's hard to see. You can see right there. You could see, you could see P.K. get a little bit sideways. That's real time speed right there. But I don't, I don't know if those trucks make high. I know P.K. got sideways and then all of a sudden Pluto gets sideways and these trucks handle well enough. It's hard to understand how this could have happened. Watch how close now Pluto gets to P.K. I think he just made a, I think the leader just got loose and, and Pluto just made an evasive, a bit of a quick move and he lost his truck maybe. I, th I think there was, I think there was contact. Dude. Let's see. Riding along with Ron Hornaday now. Watch, watch the leader get sideways. You're right. I don't think there was any contact nah. e e from front or behind. And I think Miguel just said, oh, no, where's he going? And you remember earlier when Polly Hiraka right there off turn four where the track flattens out. You're going very fast there. The banking goes away and the trucks are light there. The back end is light. He makes a move because he sees his teammate a little bit sideways and into the inside wall he goes. That truck spins 360 degrees in the air before